All right, this is um, my eye log, which is a continuation from the eye log I did during my break at work. Um, I didn't have time to really uh, do a really good eye log. Um, I was trying to rush it and just trying to get through it real quick, um, just talking about the videos that I saw on YouTube. Um, there are two distinct videos um, that I mentioned in eye log earlier, and there one video was a review by two individuals that were downing uh, Windows 8 pretty badly. Um, they installed it and they were playing with it and they were just talking really bad things. And they did mention a good point that they don't like a whole lot of change. Uh, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't know how to embrace change like um, I do. I like change. I like to see new things. And I mentioned in previous vlogs and iLogs that uh, that the the new modern UI reminds me of the future videos that Microsoft has produced in the last five years. Um, if you if you just do a search on YouTube and just talk about Microsoft's future or productivity future, you're going to see a lot of videos that are showing augmented you know into reality and how let's say I'm looking at this wall and it's showing me my calendar of the day and as I'm driving on the freeway and I see a building, it will point to that building, say you have a meeting there tomorrow at 10 a.m. So it's like I have all my information on the go. Well, the tablet is, is going to be that very first thing. And thanks to Apple, that iPad was made and it made tablet fashionable, it made tablet popular because you can have something on the go to have access to all your uh, documents and features and uh, everything you know you want right there. Now, Windows hasn't had that yet. Windows 7 has um, been on tablets before, and they're on tablets now. Uh, Samsung and Asus, you know, they have tablets on Windows 7, but it wasn't quite functional. Uh, it's really not easy operating a desktop machine on a or a desktop UI on a tablet. It's it's not very easy. You know, you got the very small icons that only a mouse can get. Now, what you can imagine is that the future PC is not going to be desktop anymore. Um, here's what I'm envisioning. That's here's what I. Vision. This is my vision for. <laughs> I'm trying to get the right word here. This is my vision for ten years from now. Ten years from now, imagine that you're not going to have a desktop anymore because your tablet is just as powerful as the desktop computer. If you want a desktop, you would take your tablet and plug it into a station and have it displayed on a bigger monitor or even an augmented reality monitor like the ones you saw in Avatar and Minority, Minority Report. You know, you're going to be able to just plug in your tablet and voila, but not even plug in. Why not do wireless play like the Apple uh, wireless play? You're, going to, you're just going to basically tell your tablet, boom, 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 and it automatically display on a wall or on your TV set or a conference room TV, like, okay, I, I made this really awesome PowerPoint presentation. The computer that's in the conference room doesn't have my PowerPoint uploaded, but I don't have to worry about that because I can just bloop, and there it is. It's wirelessly playing my PowerPoint presentation on the big screen automatically. Uh, there were some phones that, that, that had projected video. Well, imagine that that's something that's coming in the future. You're going to be able to use the Xbox Smart Glass and utilize that, not just for gaming. Imagine that Smart Glass can be used in a variety of different ways uh, by combining all the different devices that you do have. So you don't have a desktop computer anymore. You can work off your slate. You got your big screen theater size TV. And you also have your Windows Phone. But it all magically works together as one harmonious or har, har, <laughs> harmonious. Ah, I can't get my. It's, it's real late. Okay, I, I do apologize. Uh, as one device, it's, it's one system. 
And, you know, I, I, I know you've seen that commercial before where a person is in a living room and he's watching an action film. They're busting through walls. And he decides to move it into the kitchen to get something to drink. And the action continues in the kitchen and they're busting through that wall. They decide to go in the bedroom. So he pauses it and he moves into the bedroom and the action continues. Imagine that's what smart glass is going to do. Smart glass is going to give you the ability to watch movies and play games from one device to another. So, hey, let me pause this game for a minute, and let me move on to my bedroom where I'm going to go to sleep. Then I get a call from my manager uh, because I need to go to work. So then I pause it, and I push it onto my phone, and then I can play it from my phone. And the technology is there for that. And, and Microsoft is making it possible to have this available to us right now. Um, and it's, but, it's, but what it's really up to is up to the developers to develop the games in the modern UI format. Uh, people say that the modern UI is not powerful enough to run games. That's because the applications that are there now are made downsized to work on tablets only. But imagine when the tablets become more, more powerful, which is, I mean, there is no end to where tablets can go. Your tablet can be as powerful as the most expensive Alienware computer out there in the next two years. I'll say, I'll give it a year, okay? I give it one year where your tablet is going to be more powerful than your desktop. Um, okay, remember, just think back a little bit, okay? Remember when laptops were not that great? It was just convenient to be able to carry your work around. But now you can get a laptop that is almost as powerful as a desktop. Hint, yes, if you build your own desktop, you can make it the most beautiful, powerful machine ever. That's true. I have to give you that. I mean, you can. There are powerful laptops out there, and they're getting more powerful and powerful every single day. But laptops are better than the best desktop last year. Think about that. The tablet is more powerful than any computer built two years ago. Every year it's going to be that way. You're going to have your desktop be most powerful. Your laptop is going to be as powerful as the as desktop last year, and your tablet will be as powerful as your desktop two years ago. And so this is going to get even better and better. These games that are being developed, Adobe Premiere, uh, all the Adobe CS software, you can run on in Metro. But again, it's up to developers. It's up to Adobe to say, you know what, we're going to start developing our applications in the modern UI format. Um, the, the modern UI is not going to slow the process of getting what you want done, your creativeness it will actually enhance it because you'll be able to really work with the touch display. Let's get into touch. A lot of people say, well, you know, Windows 8 is made for touch, not made for desktop. <laughs> well, did they say the same thing about mouse 20 years ago, 25, 30 years ago, whatever it was made? And imagine that when a mouse first was introduced to the computer world on a Macintosh as well as a PC. People said the same thing. Oh, this is not going to be big. People said the same thing about the Internet. In fact, Disney was one of the companies that said, we're not going to invest in the Internet because it's just a phase. Okay. Well, look at it now. <laughs> okay. Internet's everywhere. Uh, we can't do without the Internet. We can't do without the mouse. Okay. But imagine that in the next year or two that when you buy a monitor, it's not going to be non-touch compatible. It's going to have touch capability. But just a few years ago, we were buying CRT monitors, right? Where, where can you buy a CRT monitor now? Palm Shop maybe? No, even they don't have it. Because when I went to a Palm Shop, I was looking for you know, some, some device, and, and there were nothing but flat screen monitors. So right now, the only monitor you can get is flat screen. In the next couple of years, the only monitor that you can buy brand new from a regular store are touchscreen monitors. So 
this is the start of touchscreen. Even Macintosh will have to get in that game. Uh, I don't think they're going to come up with a Martin UI, but Apple may come up with their own design, but they're going to come up with a design that works with their monitors that's going to be touch compatible. So will the iPad become a Macintosh? Who knows? Now, there are two different versions of Windows 8. I don't exactly agree with this, but okay. Uh, the Windows RT is just like iPad. The speed is slightly better than the current iPad that's available now. Who's to say that Apple's going to come up with a higher speed um, uh, a tablet? We don't know yet because Apple hasn't made their introduction yet. Their tablet's probably going to be the bomb. Who knows? Uh, it's probably going. People are probably going to envy the iPad users of the of the future, uh, which is going to be in the next couple months here. If Apple releases a product this year, uh, they may or may not. We will, that will. That's to be seen. We're going to see. But the iPad is a great device. Um, but will the iPad be a Macintosh? That would be something. But what you have to remember is that desktop doesn't work so well in touch, just like how touch or, you know, the touch doesn't work so well on a mouse. Excuse me. So you don't have to remember that. Um, but what I see is that in the next couple of years, every computer sold, every monitor sold will be either gesture control, like the Connect with Xbox. It's going to either be gesture control or it's going to be touch. It's going to be touch. And so it's going to be one or the other. Every, well, not every phone, but every smartphone is touch compatible now. Uh, I, I really cannot think of any smartphone sold today that is not touch compatible. Blackberries, for a very long time, were not touch compatible. They had to scroll, they had the little scroll ball thing, and you have to scroll around, have to attach a little keyboard. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, not touch. But every smartphone made today is touch. You're going to see in the next couple of years that every monitor made is going to be touch. So automatically, you're going to have that. Every monitor will include some type of camera. And the camera is going to, this is my predictions, then the camera is going to have gesture uh, controllability so that if you're working on a very big screen on a wall, okay, this is my TV set, for instance, and I want to gesture, instead of me coming up and punching, you know, uh, doing this number here, I can just do this. And even talk to it. Um, computer, <laughs> sounds like Star Trek, right? Computer, um, Earl Grey, black, hot. Damn, Earl Grey. Oh, Earl Grey, uh, Earl Grey, hot. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I almost forgot uh, stack work. I'm a Trekkie. I should know this stuff. Um, so this is what we're looking forward to, is gesture control, talking to your computer and phone uh, with Siri on Apple, with um, voice on the Windows phone. Android has a voice uh, feature as well. They're going to get smarter and smarter, and they're going to even adapt to your accent and voice. Even if you have the weirdest voice in the worst pr uh, pronunciation of words is still going to recognize what you want because it knows you. You know, it knows you. And because every device is synchronized, it doesn't matter if I buy a new computer, if I log in with one, with one account, like an Outlook.com account, it will automatically know this is me and it recognizes me right away. It doesn't have to learn because it's learned from previous accounts or previous uh, devices that I had. So I don't lose anything. Like SkyDrive, I don't lose my documents. Um, you know, the marketplace, I can re-download on applications without having to pay for it. No more having to search for that CD or that DVD. Why buy stuff in retail? You don't have to do that anymore. You can just download it. It's that simple. And if you work in IT and you have a lockdown network, just make sure your IT department makes it where you can download the applications like Microsoft Office and proprietary software in your company, download it from a server that's located in your network or a VPN. Um, 
cloud-based. You know, make it the cloud. This is, it, I just can't, I get really pissed off because people don't remember what it was like to get introduced to the mouse. They don't remember the mouse back in the 80s. But what you're seeing right now is a new iteration of how computers are going to be done today. I'm sorry for the buzz there. Um, just my phone is telling me I got email. Um, you're going to see touch become popular and gestures because Microsoft's going to make Connect available for PCs. But I do believe in the future that there's going to be some type of API that can be given to developers or to manufacturers of monitors where they're going to include the same type of sensors and cameras on to the monitors. So instead of having, you got your keyboard, you got your mouse, and your monitor is pretty far away so you don't feel like reaching your hand out, you can just gesture your way through. I want to move to the next slide or move to the next pane. Or, I mean, you know, I can just pinpoint. And it will recognize where my fingers are pointing and point to the right application. This is the future. And Metro Modern UI, Windows 8 UI, whatever it's called, is the future. Guaranteeing it. And I guarantee you that Macintosh or Apple, I mean, Apple is going to come up with a similar, not, it won't be, you know, they won't copycat. I already know that. But they're going to come up with something that's close to it. And they're going to make their devices, every one of their computers is going to be touched. Just like every PC is going to be touched. Not just tablets. I'm talking about desktop computers. It's going to be standard. It's, it's going to be cheap. You can buy a 17-inch uh, widescreen, high-definition 1080p uh, touch monitor for 150 bucks at Walmart. This, that's going to happen in the next two or three years. I, I, I will say even sooner than that. So get used to it. And you know what? Desktop is dead. It's gone. Okay? For a few years, desktop applications will be designed, will be made. Adobe may not, or in Sony Media Software with Vegas, they may not come up with stuff in Metro right away, but I think it's coming. It's going to come to a point where everything is going to be designed using the modern UI. It's going to be, they're going to be forced to, because I think at some point, Microsoft's going to say, sorry, we're getting rid of desktop, because they're forcing you to move into the future. We're Touch is going to, I mean, touch is the future. No more is the uh, mouse and keyboard. It's going to be voice, gestures, and touch. Voice, gestures, and touch. That is the future. Voice, gestures, and touch. That is the future. If you're hearing voice in the background, my wife is playing wow. So I have to move into another room. And even though I got the door closed in the bedroom, <laughs> you can still probably hear her very well. Uh, she's having a good time with her guild. In fact, she's building the guild right now. But I even guarantee that even Blizzard is going to have to come up with a modern UI for the control panel settings. And, and, you know, I'm not talking about the game itself. The game will still be DirectX and all that, but I'm talking about the, the control panel. You launch WoW from the start menu of Windows 8, and it opens up in the Windows 8 UI, and you move around the settings and the character development, all that stuff, and your achievements, all that stuff will be built in with Xbox Live. You can play it on your Xbox, you can play it on your computer, or they may even come up with a way to play it on your phone. Xbox, on the go. That is the future. Two or three years from now. I would say one year from now. But I'm going to give my, um, realistically, two years from now, you're going to see touch, gesture, and voice happening on your phone, tablet, desktop, laptop, and it's all going to be touch. And even Macintosh is going to get in that, or Apple is going to get in the game. iOS, everything that's, that's OS X or iOS is going to be touch 100% all the way. That's just the way it is. And gesture controls. I think they're going to probably come up with their own uh, version of Connect. Um, and it's going to be different. Apple's not going to be copycatters, but they're going to come up with something that's awesome, and it's going to make me say, hmm, Apple, yes. I may stray away from Microsoft a little bit. Let me just see what Apple's doing, because I was 
Yeah. I'm into gadgets. And right now, I like what Microsoft's doing. But, hey, hopefully Microsoft will keep it up. And I'm telling you, just get used to it. Embrace the change. Enjoy the change. Just understand. It's whenever you, okay, here's a good example. You step into a new job. Isn't it frustrating? The first couple of days, you're like, not knowing what's going on. You don't know anybody. You really don't. I mean, you you become an exchange administrator over at a new job. You don't know what to do. And you've done it for 50 years. You were, you've been an exchange administrator for 50 years. You know exchange inside and out. But because every company runs their exchange server differently, you're going to have to learn how they do it. And that is where you're like, awkward on the first day, two, three, a week or two, okay? After a couple of weeks, you're good to go. You're good to go, right? So Windows 8, give it a couple of weeks. After you start using it over and over again, you'll be good to go. Voice, gesture, and touch is the feature. Guaranteeing it.